For those interested, Generico has lots of buttons and the admins of a Moodle site can add them as they wish. There are two ways of going into Generico. Insert is one by scrolling down until you get to Generico widgets. And then notice these are the ones that I, as the admin of this Moodle site, have added. One is Google PDF. Notice PDF. One is Google Edit which is not a PDF file from Google. The other one is website, which I would try for sometimes for a link that is a PDF. I would use the website. And there's uh, H5P interactive content, which uh, you might want to try. But there are so many others that you can find. So let me show you the difference between Google PDF and Google Edit. If I click on Google PDF, notice I can add the uh, word that I want to hyperlink here. Notice that it says the same and has the same information. However, you will add a PDF, Google PDF file here. In the other one, if I go into insert and generico widgets, I will get Google edit. In the Google edit, it will show preview, but you have to make both of them. Notice it tells you that you make them public for everyone to view. So this is very important information. The second place to go in is um, these three dots. You need to expand your editor. So if I click on them, it expands and then the widgets will appear in the first row in my case. OK, so generico widgets here. The reason I say in my case, because you can also make changes here in how they appear in your editor. Well, the admin can, not you. And that's it. So make sure that you take a look at the end of your URL to see if there's a PDF there or if there isn't and you're coming from Google Drive. Thank you for watching. Questions are always welcome. Bye for now.